Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Kit Good at Open Rollercoast Tech 2. In this episode, I will show you a cool trick that will help you save ride slots in your park. So, I've decided for some reason I want three toilets at this end of the park. So, normally you would just place one like this, place another one, and we'll place a third. Now, as you can see here, we've now used three of our 255 ride slots. Well, and if you have a big park, uh, adding toilets uh, over the course of time adds up. So, there's actually a trick around this, which will allow you to only use one ride slot for the toilets. So, I'll just delete this toilet and delete this one. Now, we'll go to Tile Inspector. We select this toilet. As you can see, it's just a track piece of the toilet's right type. So we'll just copy it and then we paste it here. Let's rotate it towards the path and then we do the same here. Now we'll just connect the path to the toilet or else people will not be able to use them. Now there's a downside to this uh, method, that's uh, if guests decide that they want to go to toilets one, they will always go to the one that was placed first, because that's where the coordinates of toilets one lead to. The other toilets they will also use, but only if they have to be badly and they happen to walk into them. Since guests always prefer to go straight on a junction, it's uh, usually smart to place these extra shops or toilets on a T intersection like this. So, for example, let's just pretend these paths lead, lead to other areas of your park. Um, then, when guests reach this path, they uh, have a high chance of going straight, walking into the toilet, and then actually using it. So, they won't pathfind to it uh, themselves. They can uh, happen to walk into them randomly and then they will use it. So let's uh, stop the rain for a bit and I will demonstrate this uh, effect. So here we have a large tram of people who will maximize their toilet need and just maximize their energy. Now they all really need to go to the toilet and somewhere around this point many of them will decide to head to toilets one and then we can just follow a few of them and see where they will end up going so they're almost here now and stop them here so this guy is heading to toilets one to, well, i'll just click a few of them so we can see where they will go. Okay, we unpassed the game. And the guests that we selected that are heading for toilets one are all going to the left. So, like I said, they will always go to the one that has the actual coordinates for toilets one. So keep in mind that if, for example, you place you put your park full of hamburger bars that are placed through this method, and when they get very hungry, they may actually decide to go to hamburger bar one, which is on the other side of the park, because that's where the coordinates lead to. But if you place them on uh, many areas where peeps are uh, more likely to head into, they may actually randomly walk into the hamburger bar or toilet and then actually buy a food item or uh, do their thing on the toilet. So yeah, this was uh, this is a useful trick in big parks to save ride slots. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it's useful for you and I hope to see you again in the next video. See you later!